More the thing that I would encounter was that people want to move on. Mm. Like, you know, the people in Colombia are t- kind of tired of this story. Mm. You know, they've, they've been equated with Escobar and cocaine for a long time. So, you know, for Colombians traveling abroad, it's like, oh, you're from Colombia, cocaine, oh, you do cocaine. It's like, and they're like, Ugh. <laughs> You know, so, um, you know, but we did hear some stories, and I mean, what's interesting is that one of the directors, Andy Bice, who's one of the executive producers as well, grew up in Cali during that era. And, you know, it was a, a, a crazy time, but also an exciting time in a weird way because there was a tons of money flowing through. So there was all this The development. dollar was almost like the Colombian peso was almost on pace with the dollar because there was so much money coming in, correct? That was crazy. Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a boom, an economic boom. And so there's a dark side to that obviously that a lot of people suffered and then there's other people who maybe didn't see that as much and saw you know that they were they had this and they felt protected by from Escobar that was the funny thing I mean there was a kind of uh you know the the big Cali godfathers thing we protect you guys from Escobar which was part of how they kind of controlled you know and you couldn't speak out again I mean you couldn't go against him 